your way in a long time It's not too late for you to fall apart Shouldn't have to pour it out what's mine Shouldn't have to tell you what's right
Thank you very much, friends. All right. I'm playing a gig with the band. This is almost unheard of. Let me introduce you to them. My left, right of your screen, on guitar and mustache, that's Christian Barbieri, everybody. Yeah. The teleprompter says hold for a pause. A pause. <laughs> on bass, that's Anthony Liddell. Yeah. Right back there on the drums, driving me crazy with his mad skills. That's Danny McKenna on the drums, everybody. Give it up for Danny. And uh, over my right shoulder is Captain Simon Burke. Everybody, give it up for Simon. All right. Well, this is uh, such a pleasure. Thanks to um, all the crew here uh, that people can't see from home. Uh, there's quite a few people, all COVID safe, all under the capacity. Everything's everything's uh, above board. And uh, also a good friend of mine that's uh, been doing uh, so much for the, the music scene, not just in Bendigo but in uh, in in the broader Victorian community, uh, Mr. Colin Thompson. He's uh, one of a kind. Colin, he uh, spoken about him quite a bit, but that's a man that I've seen carting drum kits around to several venues over a weekend, making sure festivals are running, and also then getting up and finding time to get up and jam, as well as be an amazing dad and husband. I assume he's a great husband. I can't. <laughs> only, from what, only from what Amy says. But, uh, thank you, Colin. Thanks to all the team. Thanks to the band. We had to do a re two rehearsals today, so uh, you know, blow a few cobwebs out. But we feel pretty good. I do. Hey, you guys. Yeah, thanks for your enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is uh, all you got to do is call.
We didn't get the old timey Bendigo backdrop. We can live with it. That's okay. We do have this glorious venue though. And uh, as was mentioned, I was lucky enough to be here the day it opened. So close to the finishing of it that we're actually here waiting to set up while they were still finishing, bolting the doors on basically. And um, the sound engineer was thrilled about that. But uh, a brilliant show and um, fun fact, Uncle Jack Charles that was the uh, MC and the narrator of the show also was incarcerated in the jail here as well. That was an interesting uh, fact from the show for those playing at home. <laughs> but uh, it's nice to be back playing with the boys and seeing some friends this way north. It was uh, very cool, always fun to watch. So I hope everyone at home enjoyed that as much as we did. <laughs> now though, this is I Don't Blame You. I can see what you want And I know how it's done You've been acting so tough And got no place to run Let it show through what you go through And I hope you can release that you need Cause I feel that I've seen my share This is a song I wrote about, uh, I was actually, I was moving around a lot just after our second son was born and 
I was missing home because I'd been away a lot, been doing some co-writes and traveling away and playing and uh, all those sorts of things that I do normally. And uh, sitting backstage, I was doing a TV show and I was sitting backstage and started messing around this little guitar part and a melody. And I took it to this co-writing session the next day and basically wrote this song about missing home. The song's called Where Home. And uh, haven't been away so much lately. Actually enjoying the breakaway tonight, to be honest. <laughs> I love you boys. love my kids. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, so a couple of parents on stage understand what I'm talking about. We've all been... Everyone, like everyone, we've all been uh, very, 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 very close with our loved ones or the people we live with recently. So uh, here's to everyone at home. This is called We're Home.
Thank you. Just give me a second while I tune this old girl. This is um I recorded this next song on this guitar and uh has a very distinctive sound and I was wondering what I was going to do when I started playing it live because it's not my guitar or it wasn't my guitar and uh, anyway a dear friend of mine who owned who was the owner of it uh, turned up at my house to visit and uh, bought this with him and gave it to me which is a lovely lovely gift and I want to play this next one for him and his family it's called uh, Money and Fools, and he's going through a very important time in his life. There's lots of changes, and I think he's probably really relate to the lyrical content of the song. It's called Money and Fools. <laughs>